What? I remove your military access. Thirty six, there's no way. Never going to give them that. So gay. I mean It's like sea pussies, British. Yeah, okay, good. Finally, though, Brazil is moving in to take out British Guyana, you know. Good. Now I got you. Yes. Alright, I am sending these two regiments just to take out these stupid coast regions. And got you again. Alright, we've lost that, but they're going to lose this, so there you go. Why didn't I think of that earlier, seeing if I could walk to that island? Because sometimes you can do that in this game. Just like, island walk. Stupid British trying to blockade me. I'm going to need to seriously rebuild after this war, though. I got him! Killed those damn Brits. Big region. There you go. How do you like that, stupid Britain? They lost their whole forty five thousand man army here. Because of their greed. With British greed. So who's winning in this war here? I don't know. No one really. Stalemate, kind of. Yeah, well. Good for them. Geneva Convention. Okay, so ambulances and military hospitals shall be recognized as neutral and as such protected and respected by the belligerents as long as they accommodate wounded and sick. Switzerland has called an international convention at Geneva to discuss, formalize, and agree upon a set of international rules and guidelines for the conduct of war. All the civilized nations of the world have been invited to sign what will become known as the Geneva Convention. 
So we contain it. It'll decrease our war exhaustion. So basically it increases some stuff, but it will decrease our maximum military spending. <laughs> Are we war exhausted? A little bit, but not much. Military spending, because we don't use the maximum anyway, so... I'll sign it, I guess. Probably wouldn't in real life, but anyway. Stupid British ships. But this theater of war just goes to show British can't fight on land. Prussia. No, I don't like you. Eventually, though, Britain will probably get tired. Nope. Would like some military access in France, though. But of course, it's going to be impossible. For some reason. Damn it, they're starting to get my allies to sign out of this war. Would accept. Screw you. No. How do you like that? Losing one of your regions. Stupid Brazil. Hmm. Never seen so many flags on the map like that. United States annexed Hawaii. Newlands Resolution was a joint resolution of the U.S. So they basically just annexed Hawaii. After the events of the Crimean War and Russia had begun... Oh wait. After the events of the Crim Crimean War, Russia had begun believing that it could not hope to protect its North American possessions in the event of another war with Britain. It had begun considering the sale of what was to become the U.S. state of Alaska. The territory was bought by the United States in 1867 at the price of 2.3 cents per acre. The Alaska Purchase was rightly was wide, widely derided as in the American press of the day as um, Seward's icebox after then Secretary of State William H. Seward at whose initiative the purchase was made. And the Tragedy Valley of the Kings also. 
so the United States is getting more of their territories. You know what's aw what would be awesome? If I could sneak one army into England, because I've done it before. I just managed to get one army through the blockade, and they have they suck at fighting so much on land, you can beat I can beat them. I've done that before, playing against different countries. after this war I'm not going to show the period where I just fix things up and maybe take this territory and stuff and just get back to how I was supposed to be. Stupid luxury clothes factory went out of business. The British are slowly going back to not winning the war. Oh, what the? Ugh. They will pay for this. How'd they get over there? They walked the up. Freaking through France, of course. They're attacking. There. So street signs in Alsace Lorraine go back to French. It gets its region it gets the same names again as it originally had. The British are attacking here. So what I'm going to do is wait till they start losing men due to bad supplies as they just did, and then I'll attack them. Maybe. Ooh, Italy has been made. Cool. Okay, in 1870, the Law of Guarantees was a law passed by the newly formed Kingdom of Italy aimed at solving the Roman question that accorded the Pope privileges similar to that of the King himself, including the right to send and receive ambassadors. Pope Pius IX refused to accept the laws, which were seen by both him and his successors as an infringement of the independence of the Holy See. While the issue was not conclusively solved until the Lateran Treaty of 1929, the Law of Guarantees nevertheless meant the, that the young kingdom's capital would be then on would from then on be Rome. Okay, I'm going to stop this episode, but yeah, I'm running out of time.